detailed information you need to know. We just completed our first term. Second term begins Monday. Now, now, now is the time to come over if you're thinking of moving your child from a school that might not be, might not be as challenging as what we are going to offer. And we've got some people with us today that can testify to the challenging uh, curriculum that we have and some of the other things that we do. Um, we also need to talk a little bit about um, a breakfast program that we're going to be starting on next Saturday, December 3rd, Sister Carolyn. Make sure that you remind me to chat for a moment about that. I will. But I think we really right now need to introduce you to the outstanding set of guests we have. And we do have a mom and, and three sons. I thought we were having two, but she up and popped another one since last <laughs> night. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we got another little rascal with us, and that is a blessing. That is a blessing. Miss Luna, good morning to you. Good morning. It's uh, so glad that you're with us. Thank you. And why don't you introduce your little brood here, if you don't mind. If they can't, they're standing up, audience, uh, radio audience, and they're just bouncing around like little hot dogs. So go ahead and tell us who we got. Who we got, um, girl? I have Isaiah. Isaiah Luna, he's in the third grade, and I have Joey Luna, he's in the first grade, and then I have my son Dylan, who's a sophomore at Michigan State. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So then he graduated from our school, did he? Yes, he did. I, I, I never saw him before today. <laughs> <laughs> he's everywhere. He's, he's like feathers in the barnyard. Everywhere you look, there's a feather, and there's Dylan Luna, and boy, are we glad to have him as part of our uh, alumni association. And then we have another outstanding alumnus, Sister Carolyn, mm -hmm. who uh, is wearing another colored shirt today, and we'll let him introduce uh, that, that color of that shirt. But Steve Barber, good morning to you. Good Tell morning. us a little bit about where, you, what you're going to talk about today, and then we'll get back to you for a little more time. Okay. I am uh, with the Genesee Regional Young Professionals, the Young Professional Network under the GRCC. Which and, stands for uh, the Genesee, Genesee Regional, Regional Chamber of Commerce. And uh, we host the only solar-powered holiday tree in the Midwest. Mm. Folks, did you hear that? Did you mm -hmm. hear the only? Mm -hmm. That's right. And we're going to talk more about that because you have a big old tree lighting coming That's up. Right. That's Folks, right. Folks, hang on. We need to have you downtown to support this effort. And Steve is, again, a proud graduate of our school with the University of Michigan Flint here. And uh, he's just uh, doing great things. And uh, it's just wonderful to... Uh, you know, this is a great time of the year. Of course, it's a holiday season and Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of that. But the other good thing about that, Sister Luna, is the fact that these kids come back to us over the holiday. We get to see them, and we had a Thanksgiving dinner. Dylan was all over the place helping out. So was another young lady, Monique Lewis. So was some other kids. I can't seem to think of memory at the moment who they were. But they come back to us and work with us. And, and that's, that's, I think, a testimony to what we do as a school, the, the emphasis we place on not only high academics, but uh, community service as well. And Dillon certainly has been in the forefront uh, in that area. Well, let's see. Miss Luna, we're going to talk to you for a moment about, uh, I know you've got several children that uh, uh, attend our school, and, and uh, we'd like you to maybe talk about, uh, if you don't mind, what... Uh, what we are doing for your family's kids, as far as education, the Spanish program we offer, um, the work we did to get Dylan in college. Good to talk to you. I, I presume you're pleased. You still have them with us. Can you talk a little bit about um, what our school means to you? Um, it means a lot. They're always there to help. And um, when the kids are having trouble with their, their schoolwork, there's always a tutor there. Okay. Uh, a lot of mentors, all the... All the men at International are all very good mentors. Mm -hmm. Like Dylan always had Mr. Matheson. I've heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> and he still has them. He talks to them sure. all the time. They're on that Twitter email thing, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, he comes yeah. up to the school to visit Dylan. Yeah. And Does he? Really? Yeah. That's great. That's wonderful. He was yeah. just up there for the Michigan, Michigan State game, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Real good. And uh, Mr. Kendall, he's always there for Reyes. Sure. And they're all just a bunch of great teachers okay. up there. All right, we're probably going to, Joey, come on, pop in here. Come on, come on, talk on the radio now. Joey, tell us um, what grade you're in, your teacher's name, and uh, maybe a, a subject that you really, really like. Could you do that for us, young man? And tell, tell us what, what, what grade you're in and who your teacher is. Let's start there. I'm in first grade, and my teacher's name is Ms. McDonald. Okay, Miss McBannell, and you are uh, what? Once I know you probably got a couple of favorite subjects. Give me, give me two of them. Can you give me two of your favorite subjects? Science and um, math. Ma science and math. Mm. What are you doing in science? What'd you do lately? Are you planting seeds or anything? 
Glenn, he's nodding. He's nodding to the radio on, audience. Come the on. Nodding is silent, but it is a, it is an, uh, it's, it's an affirmation of a fact. Okay. <laughs> right. Say, uh, come on in, buddy. You want to use my mic here, and let's find out what grade you're in. Maybe your teacher's name, your subjects you like, stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> you're on. I'm in third grade, and my teacher's name is Nermi. Okay. And I like math and. Social studies. Oh, well, mm. Spanish too? Okay, Spanish too, because we got a L U N A family here today, and that <laughs> in Flint, that generally suspects Hispanic origin, Ms. Right. Luna. And of course, uh, Spanish is uh, one of our, it, the, our, our um, primary language in our school, foreign language, and of course, all our kids take it. Um, and I, I imagine your kids enjoy this. Do you speak a little bit at home or a lot? Or um, we don't speak none at home, but because they don't really, but we do. Our family does. Okay. We got some people. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that was Joey popping in saying, Hello. Uh, you got some relatives listening? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Give them a shout. Hello to all my Luna family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very kindly. Dylan, let's pop over to you. Uh, being a graduate of our school in MSU, yes. why don't we uh, have you talk a little bit about, um, you know, how, um, how, if, how I trust we prepared you for college. and. The things you're doing at college, your curriculum, and some of the exciting Joe things you've done, and and the, the, yeah, tell her your teacher's name. That's important. Okay, <laughs> Sister Karen's laughing. This kid don't understand about college, and that's okay. That's I think that was the cutest remark I'll ever hear. Tell us your teacher's name, and tell us uh, you took a trip this summer. So yeah. talk a little bit about Dylan. You're very verbal. Just take that mic. Um, let's see where I start. I mean, international helped me a lot with college. You know, in terms of time management, um, oh. how to be a leader. Whether it's you know, in the community, in school, or on campus, or in your own family. Um, as far as like the math skills, I mean, we were doing like high school math in like seventh grade, so it helped a lot too. Mm -hmm. But I mean, when I went to Michigan State, I was already prepared to you know how to time manage stuff because I mean, in college, everything's about time management. I think a lot of classes are just like kind of bull crap, but once you, you know, learn the skills, you know, the writing skills, time management skills, how to speak in public and all that, I mean, I learned that back in high school, yes, so you I was did. already ahead of other people. But, um, Weren't you a student of the month with uh, Judge yeah. Marable? You were all of that at yeah, one time, uh, weren't you? Yeah. yeah, I was a student of the month with Judge Marable. You know, he really got me involved in you know, going to Michigan State because that was his alma mater. In particular, James Madison. Mm -hmm. like a school club college there. Yeah, explain that a little. Some folks may not understand James Madison, Michigan <laughs> State. Two different schools? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Well, like, James Madison is a college at Michigan State. It's uh, called, like, a living learning community. And basically, it's like the school of public policy where uh, people go there, they want to be lawyers, politicians. Um, just a few of the alumni is mm -hmm. the mayor of Flint, Dan Walling, uh, Judge Marable, Representative Germanic, mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of the people who went there are, you know, politicians. From well, I'm going to stop you right there now. Is that your intention? Are you headed into politics or some other area? Have you yet uh, decided or uh, still kind I don't of know. figuring I like, it out? I like my privacy like that fun, so yeah, that's my stick to being a lawyer. Oh, oh mm. okay. okay. Yeah, we need another one of them. It's <laughs> <laughs> 42 pages in the phone, but we need another one. <laughs> yeah, Michigan State is cool. Um, they gave me a lot of opportunities to do stuff I couldn't do before, like travel to different countries and all and that. And you did travel this past summer? Yeah. Touch on that, please. That's exciting. Yeah. I went to the uh, Dominican Republic for two months, and I was there for a week with my friends, and then four weeks with this family in this middle-class city, and then four weeks in this What city, by the way? Uh, Harvacoa. I'm sorry I ask. Harvacoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Har <laughs> okay, all right. And then I went to this place called Cabrera, where I lived in like, this really small poor village for four weeks, and that was a really good experience. Wow. Miss Luna, what do you think about that? Did you ever have that opportunity before? No, I didn't. Stuff like that? Isn't no. that exciting? Yes, Is he is. the first of your family to go to college? Then he would be, wouldn't he? No. He's, he's um, my niece is a graduate of NYU Law School. Oh, wow. And my nephew is a graduate of uh, University of Tennessee. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Very good. I didn't know. Because uh, many of our students, the audience, uh, some of our kids are just first generation college. They just mm -hmm. haven't none of the family have been before and that that's a tremendous uh, testimony to the things that, about your family that you've done miss luna thanks so very much yes. dylan what um any trips or internships planned for this year or next summer um next summer i'm just taking classes i wasn't gonna go to cuba but then like all the classes offered over there like i already got this first okay. year i'm just taking classes at michigan state 
And you will graduate on, on in two more years then? Because yeah, you're a sophomore. Years. Okay, you're kind of on target I'm then. I might be a super senior, but we'll see what's good. Super senior? Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from experience, That's Steve's right. been a senior for 42 years. <laughs> Just two. Just two. All right. Dylan, thank you. We'll get back to you, I, I believe. Uh, okay. Steve Barber, uh, you heard him cackle up here about uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, Steve, U of, U of M Flint, to tell us that you, you graduated from us, and all you changed curriculum several times. So That's right. walk us through that process about your life. Okay. Uh, I uh, was uh, one of the first guinea pigs over there at International, <laughs> and uh, graduated out of there, third class in 06, moved on to uh, U of M Flint, and um, went as an, a nursing major, and then uh, uh, lost patience, and, and didn't have... Uh, the self-discipline to, to actually buckle down and, and get the work done. So uh, switched out of the major into uh, business, uh, business administration with a focus in finance, which I uh, completed back in August. And um, so I, I am now a uh, product of the U of M Flint. And, um, you know, just throughout my years with, uh, you know, international and, and uh, U of M Flint, um, you know, it's, it's grown upon me. Uh, the importance of how um, you, what you give back to the computer, community, um, how it impacts you know the lives uh, uh, around you, and so I've I've uh, taken that and, and ran with it, um, and, and so that's that's kind of where I stand today. I'm, I'm heavily involved with uh, uh, the Genesee Regional Young Professionals, um, co-chair for their uh, philanthropy well, uh, subcommittee, uh, which is called Pluto. Uh, now let's let's <clears throat> define that word philanthropy. A few may not know. Well, philanthropy is is uh, essentially giving back, and in, in whether it's monetary or, or time. And, there you go. And so That's I mean, one. it's yeah. uh, it's just all about giving back. And so um, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to just talk about uh, grip real quick. Oh sure, and, please. Uh, you know, Genesee sure Regional Young know. Professionals yeah, is uh, you know Young Professionals Network under the. Genesee Chamber of Commerce, and uh, started out with a group of uh, five to seven folks a couple years ago, and it's it's grown and, and it was adopted by the, the chamber, and and so we are here uh, three years later in the making and, and making uh, big differences with now, the five to seven. Were they all U of M graduates or just not a necessarily just a cluster of, of, young, of people. young young people that were motivated to make a positive difference in the community? All college kids, then, uh, for the yeah. most part? Yes, yes okay. they were all college students, yeah. okay. And that's um, local? Baker yeah, yeah. and Kettering and yeah. that variety? Yeah. Okay. Um, it actually uh, so happened to be, you know, through a, a you know, series of my friends that actually were a part of it. And uh, when I met them and, and became, uh, you know, uh, more more friendly with them, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, sure. you know, they, uh, you know, introduced me to the idea and, and you know, I've taken off with it. So, okay. um and it, which brings us to the uh, to the tree downtown. Yeah, Listen and up, folks. We got a big tree lighting on what date, Steve? That's on Tuesday, November 29th, uh, right downtown within the downtown corridor. Uh, the Flint DDA will have its third annual holiday parade, which will run along South Saginaw Street from Second Avenue down to Fourth Street, and then we have our second annual holiday tree lighting which happens to be the only solar powered holiday tree in the midwest closest one is in new york city and that is the rockefeller uh, christmas well, tree well that puts us in, in rather elite company my that's friend. right that's yeah. right we are uh, one of the very few that's erected in the world Okay. And uh, Sister Carolyn, y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. I'm wow. typing it on Facebook. Okay, thank you. <laughs> one of one of the few. Why is she always ahead of me, Paul Herring Jr.? I don't know. I can't stand the woman. She's, yeah, I, I'm in the starting blocks and she's at the 70 yard line. I, I don't get ahead it. of you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be a good event. And then um, our, our lighting, uh, Mayor Dane Walling will officially light the tree uh, about seven o'clock, um, and then. Uh, we have our winter mix, which okay. is, uh, you know, all of our now, members. Steve, the, the solar power, we, I think most of us understand that. Certainly, I know okay. a little, just a little about it. Every Throughout the day, the day that will uh, then alight the tree uh, when evening comes for how long? Through the morning? Correct. Uh, the tree, I, I don't remember the exact time slots, but it will be 
on from about 5 o'clock until approximately 2 a.m., 2.30, okay. maybe right. even the 3 o'clock sure. range. And then it'll pop back on for the folks coming into work okay. um, so they can see the tree. Nice. Height of the tree? Give, give me, is it 20, tree's five, about, 30 feet? Yeah, or? it's about 30 feet. Okay. Um, it, uh, yeah. Well, who thought of the solar power? That's kind of neat. You know, actually, um, I actually just learned some history about this uh, talking to some folks the other day. And um, Josh Spencer from the Spencer Agency, which happens to be a member of our um, organization, he actually uh, is has worked with Mid Michigan Solar uh, quite mm -hmm. significantly. And and so he's like, well, why not do do a solar mm -hmm. tree? And so uh, first year, yeah. um, neat idea. It was uh, just a little Charlie Brown kind of uh, experimental kind of thing, and then last year we had a uh, almost a thirty foot tree, and this year we have uh, a oh, little I, bit smaller. It's yeah. about twenty five feet. I missed last but, year's. Um, I'll be honest with you. It yeah. uh, it's shame on you. Did, yeah, well, shame on you for not telling me. <laughs> I got out of that one, Sister Carol. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, yeah, it's it's very exciting. And then um, uh, the yoga loft in Garabella Salon, uh, right there by the Waitrim Building, are also having an event for autism. It's called putting the pieces together. They'll have silent okay. auctions and whatnot in there. All right. Now hit on the time again. Folks, you want to see the solar power tree on the 29th of this month, which is next Tuesday. Uh, Steve, the parade, I think, is at 6, and then the, the lighting, the, you fill in the details. The whole, the whole event starts at 5 o'clock. <coughs> oh. uh, I believe the Flint Symphony Orchestra will, will be on the main stage at about 5 o'clock. And then the parade will uh, start right there on Saginaw Street between Kersley and 2nd. And um, pretty close to Secretary of State, isn't it? Yep, yeah, about right. two doors okay. down yep. from Secretary right. of State okay. there on the corner. And uh, so, yeah, come out, have a good time, bring your families. Um, uh, the uh, the weather didn't stop us last year. We had about 30, about 3,000 uh, down there last Whoa. year, and, and it was nice and wet and cold. And uh, hopefully, we're, we're, we're looking for better it, it weather. It was this seasonal, year. shall we That's say? Right. Seasonal, it was very so seasonal. Weird. Okay. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm, Steve, thank you. Very no informative. I'm Steve. I'm going to be there. I, I'm going to try my best. Yeah, because you uh, can't say I can't, that I didn't tell you. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I, I, think, I think they nailed me here, folks. I'm done. <clears throat> but Sister Carol, let, let me, if, if if Dylan, if you don't mind as well, maybe we could just talk for a moment. Uh, we did get some excellent publicity on our Thanksgiving dinner from WNEM, WEYI, ABC 12, WJRT. They all came out. Mm -hmm. You were there. Yes. I talked about the backpack full of potatoes, mashed <laughs> potatoes. But other than that, uh, you you performed a nice little uh, thing for us that we hadn't had before. Why don't you chat momentarily about well, that? Well, of course, um, I'm part of the message in the meal that we have here every year. But this year, we combined with International Academy of Flint. And I was one of the drivers. I was one of the transport. I transported uh, mainly to individual homes. I took Mm -hmm. uh, food boxes and toiletries to the people that were homebound, mm -hmm. senior citizens mostly, and uh, I dealt with the handicapped. I mainly mm -hmm. dealt with them because of the size of my truck and the way that yeah. the seats can fold and things. So I mainly dealt with them. Actually, I just about dealt with everybody, okay. really. And so I think I was probably inside the actual building through the whole time, maybe actual 20 minutes. But I was transporting literally all from Burton, Michigan, all the way to Mount Morris, oh Michigan. Wow. I was transporting all around the city of Flint. So it was a challenge. I was, I don't know about Dylan, but I was aching by the time I got done. I was just aching. All my whole body was aching. And the next your, day, your daughter uh, didn't miss a, a lick of you. So she, she was busy as a little bumblebee. Yes, yeah, of course, she, my she children. And then yeah. all, like I said, messaging a meal. Um, for, for, thank you, messaging a meal for everything that you cooked, everything that you donated. Um, Karen Adams, which is the founder of Message in the Meal, and uh, she really enjoyed combining with International Academy of Flint this year. She, she, she was just amazed about how many people that came through the doors. And MTA, oh my God, people was just everywhere. Yeah, we had, everywhere. We had a good crowd. Okay. Yes. All right, let's switch over to Dylan. He was inside. He actually had a presence there while you out driving, touring the county, telling us you've been all these places and might yes. never been. So, right. <laughs> and you you tell the truth. Yeah, about how many folks did you serve, sister? Roughly, would would have been twenty? Would have been yes, that many? a little bit over twenty. God bless Some you for that. Some of the same people I served, taking and bringing back. So. That's so nice. Thank yeah. you so much. We're, we'll do that again next year if that's okay. Okay. The Lord Dylan, you were busy, busy, busy. <laughs> hello, hello, Joey. That's Joey, jo Joey, Joey just found the microphone. Uh, Dylan, how, how'd it go inside? I was. You talked to the lady from the Flint Journal, too, I know. Yeah. So I think you got your name in the paper, I was told. So talk about that, please. All um, that you did, all that you did. It was cool. I like seeing all the volunteers there, all the uh, IM graduates. Um, yeah. 
they bring their family, they bring their families with them. We brought my aunt Diane, my cousin Cheryl, my cousin Becky. They came and helped out with that. And the people, um, you know, it's kind of fortunate that they come just, but it's it's nice seeing them get clothes, food. They're smiling, you know. They're always respectful to us, you know. All volunteers, so it's a good time for everybody. It's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. And I would mingle at the tables too, sister, and talk with folks that uh, you know we have. We see them maybe once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. And they remember you, though. They mm -hmm. sure remember they you. They really do. We're going to do this next year. I said, if the Lord, if the Lord blesses us, yes. we sure will. We will. Okay. Can I put my order in now for clothing? <laughs> yes, you sure can. Yeah, that's one so thing I, have to I wrote say. it down. It needs an XL blue coat. Yeah. <laughs> He's giving me colors. <laughs> okay. they, everything was given clothes, toiletries for male <clears throat> and female. Uh, food boxes, yep. literally everything that you needed was in the house. If you if you came, everything you needed was in the house. No matter what was going on, everything you needed was in the house. So you you were actually treated like a king and a queen, literally for that time. And then also, what about the choir? Ooh, the choir yeah, that yeah. performed. Were you there for the choir, Dylan? Uh, yeah, I was. Oh, mercy, they went nuts. Uh, that was real nice. Yeah. Yes, highest praise. Good. Shout out to highest praise of Flint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, that's the second time they've appeared. Really? And oh my, they just you. They don't need microphones. Oh mercy, mm. they are just blow you out of there. Yeah. Wow. And people were standing up, clapping and hollering, and shouting. <laughs> and, uh, it was that was just marvelous. They yes. are so gifted. Yeah. Yes. They're so exciting. And there must have been around twenty or twenty-two of them, I think. Yes. And they took up the whole length of the of the gym on one on the on the side there. Wow. Well, so one lady, she. Literally cried like she cried till she was just literally sweating and drenching. Literally, she was just that thankful because, as I was saying, everything that you needed, with everything that she needed, is exactly was in the house: the clothes, the toiletries, the food, the ride to and from home. Everything yeah. that you needed was in the house. Well, that's great. I'm glad you could be a part of that this oh, year. It's just a pleasure. We're booking you for next year, girl. Okay, We're booking we'll see. you. <laughs> All right, now the other, as an outgrowth of this, we also, starting this Saturday, audience, we're having our community breakfast at 9.30 to 10.30 at our uh, school, of course, right in our cafeteria. We'll be serving uh, those who attend. Uh, it's designed for anybody that really want, needs a breakfast on a Saturday morning. Come on by, and you'll have uh, a, a good, warm, and, and uh, filling breakfast. We're working with six churches, Sister Carolyn, and they're going to uh, each week uh, take one of the of the uh, weeks, and then provide us with volunteers. And uh, it'll be a, a very interesting morning, I think. They're going to uh, welcome folks, and of course uh, talk with them and counsel them a little bit if need be. And uh, we'll just have a, a great morning. So that's 9:30. You can we we won't be unable at least at least initially to provide transportation. But the buses are running on Saturday morning if they can get on the bus and come to our school, 2820 South Saginaw, be served between 9.30 and 10.30. The buses run hourly on a Saturday, I know that, so it would be possible to get to us during that time. And if you have questions about that and you have friends or family that might want to participate, 605,000, that's the school number, that number, they'll be directed to me, 605,000. If you need to call in today, there's not much time, but 239-57, no, 239-5733. Okay, two three nine five seven three three, and we'll still remain here a little bit after the program in case you want to call in about a question about that. Well, we always have uh, closing remarks, and uh, uh, Miss Luna will probably come to you first if you might want to say some things in closing uh, about our school. About oh, I, I certainly know you attend church, and why don't you give a plug into your church while you are in your closing comments? Um, actually, um, all my family was there. All the kids were there. I wasn't there because I was at home cooking. But my sister went in my place and my cousins went. And wow. There were people from our church there, South Flint Church of the Nazarene. Wow. They were also there helping okay. with the clothes. And they the, sure were. Yeah. In fact, your daughter, I was told, got her picture in the Flint Journal. Yeah, Yolanda. Okay, wow. She was getting desserts for people. Okay, you sure it was for people? <laughs> huh? no, wait a minute. Let's go. It might, might have been, been for family <laughs> or herself. It might have been for <laughs> oh, her. She's such a gorgeous little girl. We're so yeah, glad that she was exposed to that. That's wonderful. Yes. Okay. And it really is a great school, and they've done so many great things, I mean, for Dylan alone. Mm -hmm. And they're always doing stuff for all the rest of the yeah. kids, too. Yeah, Dylan, how many were in your graduating class, Dylan? Do you remember? Uh, oh, 20 22. I think we're in the 22. well in the upper 30s to, uh, this time, Sister yeah, Carolyn. So we're going, and next year, I think, we'll even be in the 50s. It took, 60s or took five years to double up, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting bigger every year. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, for Miss Luna, thank you. It's nice to have thank you, you here. And thanks for jo Joey and Asaya. You want to say something goodbye to folks? You want to tell somebody goodbye? Grandma, goodbye. Grandpa? How do you girlfriend? Girlfriend. Oh, we got to talk. Please. Okay, we got. Okay. Somebody said, "Go blue." That's um. me. <laughs> <laughs> he is a little twisted, but okay. Uh, Steve, since you are go blueing here, that's right. Who um, are you playing today, by the way? We're playing our our arch rivals, uh, Ohio State, and I've got a bit of a unique situation because my sister's boyfriend plays for them. So plays for them. Yeah, it's, oh, wow. uh, it's kind of okay. a. Conflict of interest. I, I don't see, see a conflict uh, at all. <laughs> I, I, I see, I see a big conflict. <laughs> okay, but right. but uh, so I'm gonna be headed down there in a little bit. Oh, and, are you? Uh, you going oh, to Ann yeah, Arbor? Yeah, I'm going to Ann Arbor. Oh. I'm not going to the game, but oh, there's okay. plenty of festivities to partake okay. in. Right, right. The chances are you'll find something to do I'll in find Ann Arbor. Okay. That's right. That's right. So, uh, folks, come out Tuesday night, Tuesday, November 29th. Uh, be down there anytime from. Five to make sure you're there at seven for my lighting of uh, the tree. Are you going to be right standing at the tree, Steve? I'll be at the tree. Okay. I'll be right there. <coughs> okay. okay. Great, Steve. Good to have you here. Good today. to have you guys. Thank and, you so uh, much. Yeah. We appreciate you. you. Okay. Thanks for having me. Dylan, let's do a little close. Uh, give some shout outs or anything you'd like to do yeah. to kind of close out. Words of encouragement, <laughs> advice, yeah. mentoring. You, it's, it's your, it's your, your mic. Oh, buddy. Like everybody said, you know, uh, the National is a great school. El Gringo White. <laughs> <laughs> no, also I want to give a shout out to my uh, my fraternity, uh, Found Alpha Incorporated, the oldest Latino Greek fraternity in existence. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah sure, say it again, because I kind of missed uh, it. It's Phi Iota Alpha Incorporated. Phi Iota, Iota Alpha Incorporated. Alpha. Okay. Yeah. Incorporated. Yeah, we oh, actually okay. we're actually going to Columbia this spring break to do a community service. Where? I mean, what are you going to do when you're there? Um. Well, every year is different. Um. In the past, you've gone to El Salvador, to Mexico, the Dominican Republic, and Colombia. What we do, um, usually should be a partner with UNICEF, and they'll give us a project. Um, last year, uh, they built a foundation for, like, what is the equivalent of a, a Boys and Girls Club in the Dominican Republic. Right, okay, okay. But we fundraise for, for that throughout the whole year. Um, do club parties, uh, have like a pie and a bro event. Okay. There's a whole bunch of things we do to help. Now, are you staying in a dorm or in the frat house then at State? Um, I stay in a dorm. Dorm, okay. I'll, I'll get a house next fall. Okay, yeah. oh, very good. All right. Exciting life, Miss Luna. Exciting yeah, life. Yeah, he actually working college. two jobs there. Well, really? Yeah, what do you do, job. by the way? Um, I'm a teaching assistant, and then I'm also intercultural. What do you teach? What co what subject? It's just like this: this freshman summer class where the kids learn how to like do good in college. Okay, yeah. so you're mentoring literally college freshmen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Miss Luna, you got reason to be proud. Oh, I'm, I'm very And proud. I'm proud of you for being proud of him. <laughs> and I'm proud of Sister Carolyn. And I'm proud of Steve. And I'm proud of Paul Herring. And I'm proud of America. Uh -oh. <laughs> and don't forget to vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we're having a little fun here. You want to say something in closing, big guy? To your on, friends, your holler, holler out, say hi to somebody? Grandma, Grandpa? Your sisters? Sister? Anybody? Girlfriend? Newt Gingrich? Somebody? <laughs> Or say bye, Dan. Say bye. Can you, you say, say bye? bye? Okay, there you go. That was strong. Joey, say bye or something. What do you got here? What do you got bye. for me? Bye. Bye. Stay okay, there. he's been peeking behind our green screen. Okay, we're about ready to go. Everybody, wherever you are, if you are driving your car, walking in the mall, if you are whistling in Wisconsin, whatever you're doing, look at somebody and say, Woo! That is some kind of school. Goodbye, everybody.